Hi, well, Louise, come to community living with your girl, Malewu. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. And if you're stopping back by and continuously supporting the channel, you know the jingle by now, so sing along with me. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that's been liking, commenting, and sharing. You know the deal, you know the deal. So we are on our way to 19,000 subscribers, and it's all possible because you guys keep on liking, sharing, commenting, hitting that subscribe button. I'm just going to get straight into it. It will be an apartment tour. You guys will get to see where I'm currently living in Shanghai. Um, and the city or the region that I'm based in is called Lingang, right? And Lingang is an hour away from downtown Shanghai and um, it's still like an, like an expensive area in some sense, but in terms of rent, it's not as expensive as downtown Shanghai. I've seen ridiculous prices when it comes to downtown Shanghai. Uh, so here it's not as ridiculous. So this setup is kind of like a, a bachelor studio slash one bedroom, however you want to uh, basically uh, classify it. And before we go into how it looks, uh, we're going to start off in prayer. As you guys know, we always start off in prayer. So let's go. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for each and everything that you've done and that you're still going to do in our lives. Father, we pray for the person that has joined. Uh, Father, you know exactly where they are. Meet them exactly where they are. Um, there might be a reason why they decided to join this. And it could be that they're interested in teaching English abroad or teaching English online or whatever the case might be. Father, may you open their eyes to the various opportunities that are in front of them. May they be able to seize them. And may they be able to benefit from these opportunities, oh Lord, Father. And we're just thanking you, Father, for um, um, basically what you're going to be doing in their lives through this as they remain faithful and do what they are supposed to do as well. And we're just thanking you for all the things that um, you will do through them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, oh Lord, for their lives. Amen. So that was the prayer. Uh, we're gonna move on to the apartment tour. Hi guys, so one of you asked for a apartment tour. So I've been staying here for over two weeks now. So when you come in, this is supposed to be the shoe cabinet, but I don't place my shoes in here because I don't like the smell of this uh, place, right? So. There are some slippers that I got from the hotel that I still wear. They are all dirty and old now. And at the top, I put some cleaning items. Um, not all, because yeah, these things are very short. So some of them are very tall, so I can't like place them. So basically, this is how this cabinet looks. Right. Just the length and this is the door so one feature about the door is that let me see if I have my keys you see I'm not locking it's a bit late at night so it's already locked so I can't open it so I'd have to use my keys to open it up and when I'm inside I can also just use this thing and that locks it so i don't have to use a key on this door whatsoever um there's a hook so i found the hook here i don't usually use this hook then when you come in um there's the wardrobe building wardrobe so the whole thing the door is a mirror it's like both doors are mirrors so i like that um in terms of how I've partitioned my wardrobe, so these are the frequently worn things, especially for work. And then right there at the end are like winter stuff. Um, and I place my one traveling bag at the top and my makeup. My makeup stuff on this here, and I just placed all my makeup stuff in the and they fit quite nicely 
so my daily toiletries like the stuff that i use on a daily basis the place in this toiletry bag um my skincare stuff are in here in mouthwash and other little stuff i don't like the smell of this place so i'm just gonna close it for you guys so that you can see both sides so this is it closed it's hard to close it because these bags are slightly big right so just because this bag is is stopping the flow there and i don't want to close it all the way just to find out that i can open it anymore so but anyways this is how it is uh, there's a mirror this side that's why it's like reflecting to this side as well so this whole thing is a mirror so i really like that about this room then coming to the bathroom so you switch the lights here but this bulb is no longer working i need to report it and what's working is basically the, this heating system so there's one light i think this is just a normal light and there are different other lights so they're heating lights you guys see how bright it became in here like 10 times bright then there's an the other lights all the lights are like on now there's also like a plug in here in case i want to you know do my hair or whatever um then my hand towel because there's no hand towel thing uh, then the bathroom mirror, face towel, um, and there's a lot of mold. There's also things to put your broom in. The toilet, it's a normal toilet, nothing too special. But their water tend to be a bit higher than our water. And you don't flush any tissue in this type of bathrooms or toilet. Like, don't do that to yourself. Next to it is a bin because number one, number two, whatever you're doing that requires a tissue, you need to throw it in there. Um, I'm going to put a plastic in there. Then we have the shower. Um, so yeah, it's just a normal shower. I just took a shower just now. Um, then we have the washing machine. So yeah, that's one of the things that I really liked about this place, having the washing machine. And the very yeah you can even feel the heat this thing is heated you can feel the heat um the window that side oh next to it here are uh, diaper bags for this as well so disposable diaper bags um so maybe if you're in sa buy these they're like 35 bucks and you get 150 bags so i bought two let me open this I wore off my clothes this side, so folded clothes, more hangers, uh, my small uh, traveling bag, and my equipment, recording equipment, tripod and camera stay in here. My uh, the drawers is obviously like your underwears and stuff, and then my uh, umbrella. You really need an umbrella here. So this umbrella is really so strong and i really like that for them then going into this side right so this is main search but i've never touched anything this side then these are lights so these lights this one is for the kitchen right and this one is for here uh so there are lights everywhere this one is for here there's this little thing which i'm not sure what it's for I think it's in case of an emergency but what i'm supposed to use it for i really don't know so let's move on to the kitchen area um so in the kitchen area there's a microwave uh, a fridge so all these i found here apart from the dishwashing rack which i bought so microwave um and the fridge then yeah in the grocery cabinet i have some essay stuff so all these i brought from essay and there's a gas stove i think this is an extractor but i'm not sure i really don't know how things work in china this is a gas stove um we have a gas cut down here so 
this is where we load okay you don't need to have your gas cut all the time in there i think but i'm not sure my agent just told me to place it there but that's where the gas cut goes and a couple of the other things that i had to buy so cleaning uh, stuff also goes here um and yeah i just recently moved the water here but i usually have it on the counter and then this Russian rack as i said i bought it and that's the water heater i think it's supposed to be different so if you see this one from your landlord they probably cut corners it's not supposed to be this one a bunch of kitchen stuff these i found here they really have a lot of hooks so that's really nice um this i bought so just to place stuff when i'm cleaning but the counters it's not that they're dirty because of me i found them dirty guys just so you all know <laughs> and i wash them and everything but they don't think i just did some groceries um so yeah just did some groceries there's a grocery store downstairs what else should i show you guys here yeah, i think that's everything and uh, that's why i place my plates and everything i found some plates here um, and then moving on to the lounge area, I found the sofa here, the two pillows here, actually it's three pillows, one, I'm using it for the chair down there, um, they installed Wi-Fi for me the day I moved here, I found the um, coffee table here, and I found the TV stand and the TV here, I don't use the TV, and I found the vase and the cigarette, what is it called, this thing, for cigarette something. I just ashtray you right um then this one i bought in the book necessary this is by essential class i definitely recommend this book i'm not much of a reader but i definitely uh, will try and you know <laughs> read this book and then um here we have plugs there are a lot of plugs within the house you guys saw the plugs there then we have this little room divider thing and it doesn't have a lot of space i feel like they could have um made sure that it has more space so you guys get to see the room from this angle as well so uh this room divider thing i've placed a couple of the stuff that i don't use too often so here after bathing i usually use these two but these i hardly use uh these are the clothes that i wear very often um and then my two bags like smaller bags medicine um more toiletries and other things that i don't really use that often the stuff that i don't use that often but yeah i can also place them that side i really don't know how to use this um so far but that's what i'm using it for and my favorite my bible is here as well so I place my bible here and some other paperwork <laughs> but yeah in my bank card um so this way my bible is and this is where the queen sleeps. Um, yeah, I'm calling myself a queen because why not? If no one is going to call me a queen, I'll call myself a queen. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not that conceited. So this is where I sleep. Uh, found the, the headboard, the bed. But what I bought is this. There's a little layer here, this mattress thing. But this tin. 10 centimeter layer i had to buy this because this is the softer one this is the hard chinese one which i could i couldn't really get a good rest while on it i still need to buy an inner so it's just sheet and like the juvet cover without an inner um and this side is the bedside i don't know what this is for but it has this this space here because i can't really open this window to my understanding i can't really open this window so kind of useless the only thing i can do is basically bring in light how i want it to be brought in uh, moving right along are these hideous looking curtains but they don't bring in light which is great oh i need to close the windows so these are the windows um they do have blinds but I think they were bringing in a lot of lights though so maybe the person that was here before was like uh, let me get curtains i don't know how they dealt with purple curtains though um then we have the air conditioner it's a very old aircon i don't like how it smells 
but it still works heat and uh, the cold as well then this side we have the table uh, study table so the chair is like a normal chair well, I think it's more like a kitchen chair than anything else and what I did was to buy this little pillow thing as I said uh, what happens is that this thing usually goes into the chair versus protect my back so as much as I tried this thing doesn't work as effectively as I thought and um, then there are two chairs in the case that I have visitors or yeah them to sit there I don't know why they'll sit there though because <laughs> there's the couch but yeah otherwise that is how my room is and this is my room from this perspective i'm just gonna do like a 360 so that you guys can see so this is the room this is the room divider thing then the couch coffee table uh the kitchen so the kitchen can close off like proper proper it does have a bachelor vibe but it's not really a bachelor because the kitchen can close off properly so this is how it is from the side that's essentially it and what i didn't cover in the apartment was how much everything costs right um, so i will start with the rent uh, so the rent for this place gets paid on a quarterly basis and to move into this place i had to pay uh three months rent i had to pay a deposit and i also had to pay the agent fee so in total i think i paid about eleven thousand two hundred yeah that's how much i paid eleven thousand two hundred i remember paying that amount you pay it on a quarterly basis as mentioned so i already paid that for the next two months uh, so september october november i think the next time i'm going to be paying the rent is november right because i paid in august i'm not going to pay um now in september and i'm not going to pay in october and i think i'll only pay in november so great then but you need to save because you need to pay three months again uh when like you know that three months mark comes through then the next thing is utilities so i have to pay for water electricity and gas um as you guys saw there's a gas stove and a gas a water heater so um you buy gas credit basically and you can see the credits being used up um, so it's not like an expensive rate that these credits get used up i only use 17 rmbs which is less than 50 bucks so for the entire month just for the gas i use only 50 rands um, and for water and electricity i don't know the breakdown i'll put up the screenshots here I, I think for one it was about 26.90 and the other one was about 16.90 or something like that. So seven, we will say 17 and 24. In total for gas, water and electricity, I remember calculating it to be 63, which is just less than 170. I used up a lot of water this month and electricity because I would wash like maybe three to four loads at uh, some point during this month because um, a lot of the items that I would buy would come with a funky smell like this thing I needed to wash it although it was brand new I had to wash it because there will be like a funky-ish smell um, so I needed to wash quite a lot of things and now I'm even starting to introduce using a fabric softener so I'd wash use a fabric softener then um then the last thing would be to dry so that takes up a lot of electricity and water as well but still i'm paying less than 200 rands for all three so the utilities are not that expensive and for wi-fi i only had to pay it or fiber i'm not sure if it's fiber or wi-fi that i have it has a line so i'm assuming it's fiber um so for fiber i paid once off 100 rmbs which is 250 so for the whole year i'm only paying 250 but i think it's because my agent helped me out um to be able to get that package it might be the rate that they pay as locals 
and yeah so that's what i i have to pay basically other people have to pay wi-fi or fiber internet connection on a monthly basis i do have to pay for my sim card i have a data and a call contract i don't know how many minutes i have on the uh, on the sim card because i don't make calls i literally don't like calling people and i don't have anyone to call and we use like wechat and other things anyways so yeah data i only use like five gigs um a month so far i don't think it'll be more than that uh, i can also recharge on alipay i don't know how to check it out yet i haven't done that one uh, but yeah, that's essentially it when it comes to the stuff that I need to pay for this apartment. If you have any questions about cost of living in um, Lingang, Shanghai, please do drop them down below so that I can be able to answer them for you and make a dedicated video uh, for the questions that you have, especially if the questions are repetitive. So I might not do it just for one person, but if I see a question being asked over and over and over again, I will definitely make a video to answer that question. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and may God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Love you.